Hey Pisces, welcome back to my channel. This will be a love reading for Pisces, having a look to see what the current energies are between yourself and this person. There will be an extended which will explore more about them, okay, how they're feeling, what they're wanting, how they're perceiving the current situation between the both of you. So the link to the extended is below in the show more section. Guys, thank you so much for your likes, shares, subscribes, donations. It really does mean a lot, Pisces, okay. Had four cards. Is that four? Yes. And we'll get another two. Go from the top. Okay, Pisces. You may be guarded about a situation. Possibly not. Um, maybe a little bit skeptical about what someone is offering you. But you're about to literally walk into happiness here. You're coming into a very good stage in your relationships here because you are the cups. Now, it can be with the Cancer because you have the Moon. Uh, but the Eight of Cups, I believe, is you and you're walking to the Ten of Cups. So this is a good transition. Possibly a reconciliation on the cards for some of you. Okay, with the past, a past lover, a past flame, especially if you've had children together. Maybe you were hoping to build a family. You were once engaged or just in a beautiful long-term relationship that maybe went separate ways. Uh, it's almost like someone may return to you. Or you may return to them. Okay, so that may happen. And the Ten of Cups, this is a beautiful promise of happily ever afters here. So for some of you, this is, you've got a beautiful outcome here. But unfortunately, you'll have to go through all these other stages to get to that Ten of Cups. Uh, look, it could be that at times you feel like you have someone here that can really bring you your happiness. You could really see a future with can picture yourselves doing a lot of things and you're moving towards that you may have to take time away and it's this time away that's really going to highlight and emphasize the kind of future you want with this person the moon can uh, be anxiety induced pisces some of you may be leaving or you feel like something is missing here but is it anxiety that's fueling you because that's also present the Nine of Wands tries to protect himself. But you seem so stubborn, uh, like so set on something. The King of Swords is, is not interchangeable. Um, he's very much committed to what he believes in, to his values. So it's almost like you've got something in your mind here, Pisces. And I don't know if this is you leaving or taking time away mentally or emotionally. But that, this idea could spark this chain of events, but it could also lead you to this somehow. Now, for some of you, the King of Swords can represent an important topic or an issue, perhaps from an air sign, but there is there is an, a very important conversation that you may be having, and this conversation is going to sort of determine your next steps. It's a very fruitful, uh, very telling conversation, I think. You've got the Empress here. She represents things like fertility, growth, planting a seed, evolution, can also be cycles, cycles of the harvest to here, and then we've got the spheres, which could symbolize cycles here, Pisces, but look, the Empress is a very Venus-like energy to me, often she does represent those things like fertility, so I don't know if some of you might be welcoming in a child with your special person, maybe adopting or um, even fitting into the role of a family member somehow, uh, but that could be very beautiful. Uh, Pisces, you might be introducing your special person to someone very special to you, like your family and friends, etc. But I think what I'm seeing here is there's a lot of growth. And the Empress is, is status, Pisces. Your status is somehow changing. Whether this is internally or externally in the physical, there's a shift but it's almost like she's, it's almost like this Ace of Pentacles is coming from her. Granting you a blessing in your relationship, but the Nine of Wands, you're skeptical about it. You're fearful. 
you're unsure. Look, sometimes the aces can represent major milestones in love, moving in together, saying I love you, remarriage, talking about having children, moving in together, you know, whatever it is, wherever you're at in your situation, you may be feeling unsure about it. And maybe you need to have a conversation. I think you may need to express your concerns, Pisces, because if you're having them, they do need to be expressed. I think deep down, you are visualizing the Ten of Cups. But look at the contrast of what's happening in these cards. You know, we see the darkness, the cloudiness. It's a very somber. You know, we see the moon here. And he's stacked up his, his cups on this quiet little beach. Yet there's something missing. Pisces, maybe you feel like you've come so far with something and you've built it up. Boy, have you built it up. But maybe it's just not quite there yet. For some, it might not be because you, you're missing the nine here. Technically, the nine is, you're missing the nine of cups. But the nine that we do see is this nine. So we go eight, nine, ten. I'm wondering what this is in between that's blocking you from this. Not allowing you to move forward. You'll know the reasons why, Pisces. But again, the notion of lack. Your wishes maybe are not fulfilled. You know, the Nine of Cups is the dream card, the wish card. Maybe someone is lacking something here. And I don't see it's much to do with anger or anything. I think you're coming from a very mature place. The moon can also be things like intuition. So maybe intuitively you're at a very peaceful place with yourself and just asking yourself the big questions. You're posing yourself the big questions. But the nine, can this person make your wishes come true? Your wishes in love, your wishes in the kind of relationship you want to have, how you'd like to be towards each other. Can they make that happen for you? Maybe you have to communicate it if you haven't already, if you haven't said that. Communication could be great. The King of Swords is very engaged. To get yourself into that place. Improvement in communication is also very possible. Uh, sometimes the King of Swords can be seen like he's instructing Pisces, so you may have to instruct someone here, maybe even teach them, okay? Maybe teach them a thing or two of how you want things done or what you're all about or what truly matters to you, Pisces, because it's almost like he's holding the sword and it's not in a manipulative way, but it's just in a informative way. Or it could be that you're coming into an energy where someone has instructed you about what they want as the next step and maybe you're fearful but these characters both look away to the king of swords maybe you feel like you have already communicated something and that you've this person has turned their back on it maybe they haven't responded not in the way you would have liked them to perhaps maybe they've turned turned away on the communication changed the subject uh, but ultimately, I think there there will be a possibility to improve on this because there you are hand in hand with each other, arm in arm, I should say, closeness. And the rainbow comes out after the storm. So I guess this is just a little bit of hope here for you, Pisces, between you and the one who loves you. So we'll see how that plays out. But I'll continue now with your extended. The link will be available below. If you are after a private reading with me, please feel free to be in touch.